do you know why we are so concerned about the efficacy of vaccination and the real antibodies that are generated for those who have been infected with covid already the real answer lies in the fact that there are mutations and it's not just one mutation but a series of mutation to understand what mutation is and how it actually happens we need to dive into the detailed structure of virus first of all so when we talk about virus it is nothing but a very very simple entity that is a entity which is concerned uh, considered between living and non living organism so outside the host it remains non living as soon as it gets a host this host could be plants animals any living organism it starts to multiply and reproduce now once it starts to replicate there is also generation of atp that is seen and therefore it becomes a living entity now once the virus we need to understand when it is multiplying what is happening with its structure now this virus has a inner genetic material this genetic material could be either dna or rna usually dna is a double stranded rna is a single stranded but with viruses we take away all the exceptions even dna could be single stranded rna could be double stranded so all four compositions of genetic material could be possible then we have the outer protein layer this outer protein layer is what it is called as capsid this capsid is made up of capsomeres and capsomeres are further made up of smaller monomer protein units which are known as protomers here in this diagram we have an example of a protomer so what happens is this is a structure this this triangle this one triangle is one subunit okay so in this case this is a hexamer there are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 subunits that are there and here there are uh, five subunits that are there and therefore it is a pentamer so these are protomers now these protomers combine together to form a capsomere so these capsomeres are similar to a lego block so as you build on the lego blocks you start to join them what would happen there would be a sequence a structure that would be built and that would be capsomeres and these capsomeres further assemble to form the capsid which is the protein layer in case of the corona virus as we have seen there are three protomer units as uh, those are seen on the outer side of the virus and this could be similarly understood to a flower shaped structure so as we can see here this is a structure of a corona virus it has a uh, a protein layer with three protomers that are there and these three protomers would finally bind or infect the human cell what would happen and what would be the case where the infection rate would vary so understand this uh, with a simple animation that this is a covid uh, virus or a corona virus so if we talk about one of the layers it appears to be like a flower it is closed as of now as soon as it opens it has higher probability to exactly bind onto the uh, or infect the cell so what happens is the initial variant that was seen in wuhan was a variant which had the closed protomers as the protomers were closed the rate of transmission the rate of infection was relatively less however the recent variations that have been seen with the uk uh, variation which is the d614g we have seen that these protomers have started to open now once they have started to open they exactly bind with the human uh, cells and therefore help the infection transmit at a faster pace and they even become super spreaders so therefore the structure where they are open would be binding very very easily with the human cells and therefore would have a higher capability to infect but how can this be uh, 
control definitely if we know the answer it is the antibody response antibody is a response generated by the immune system in two cases one is either there has been a prior infection and the person has generated antibodies those remain dormant in the body once there is a virus that enters they activate and they start to fight again so that is a single way the second way is vaccine so both of these ways are the ways through which antibodies are generated and when there is an antibody that is generated this antibody would not allow it to bind with the receptor cell so it won't allow the protomers of the virus to bind with the receptor cell and therefore would prevent the infection but in the recent cases we have seen that the protomers have been affected at the site where the protomers actually close and open and therefore there has been a mutation that has been generated at this point of time at this location and since there has been a mutation or a simple we could say is a change in the composition that has been generated at this point now they rather than being remain closed they would open and since they open they would bind more easily increasing the super spreading capability increasing the rate of transmission and therefore what has been recommended now by the scientific community is uh, maintaining social distancing isolation double masking as some of the measures that have been said but if we understand it in further detail we have some structures here the idea is uh, this is let's say a coronavirus structure that we have taken and it has certain holes here we have three protomers that we have uh, put uh, that we have tried to explain now at this site what happens there are circles that are there but let's say the shape changes there is a mutation the shape would change once the shape changes and there is let's say another shape that generates here and when my receptor cell is trying to bind to it it won't be able to bind because there has been the shape that has been changed and that is a simple thing that we need to understand why there are mutations again the mutations are very very rapid so there have been constant and continuous mutations within a country within a community there could be mutations that could be seen most of the viruses die most of the viruses will go dormant but some of them which can survive do have a ability to mutate as soon as they mutate any site where uh, the initial antibody response was generated so let's say uh, on the protomers the tip of the protomers is the n terminal domain now this n terminal domain what would happen is with an antibody response this could have uh, the response for the antibody but with a mutation this terminal shape could be changed and as a result the antibody would no longer be able to protect it from binding to the receptor and therefore the rate of transmission would further go so therefore we have seen there are lots and lots of mutations that could be seen and uh, similar to a kind of uh, probability a permutation combination problem there could be numerous combinations that could be seen when it comes to mutation so three protomers at the three sides the n terminal and each of them can undergo certain change in the structure and that could lead to a further new variant that could be seen so that is what we are trying to understand that why vaccines their efficacy has been questioned we do not know how much response that the antibodies have would prevent us for from further reinfections in future since this has been a totally new concept a new uh, thing into medical sciences as of now a lot of research is already on but we need to understand why actually these vaccinations have been questioned the efficacies of the vaccinations are now questioned the sole reason is the mutations of the virus which is further further a more complicated mechanism then we can simply uh, create by simple logics so we would be taking many more interesting lectures in science stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead